U.S. Air Force contract for stand-in attack weapon, sea or missile. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Lee Harris Technologies, said this week the service selected them for phase one of the stand-in attack weapon program. The three-month contracts, each for $2 million. The U.S. Air Force has awarded contracts to three companies for the first phase of a new program to develop an air-to-ground stand-in attack weapon that the F-35 jet could use to destroy enemy air defenses. The Air Force said this weapon would allow it to strike enemy targets that create an anti-access, area denial environment and can be rapidly moved. These potential targets include integrated air defense systems, ballistic missile launchers, land attack and anti-ship cruise missile launchers, GPS jammers, and anti-satellite systems.